What for? 16. Ooh, hey, it's Arielle. I'm about to go to Ruth Zimbler's house. She is a Holocaust survivor, and she's going to teach me how to make kasha vernishkas, which is a Jewish recipe that her mom used to make for her all the time. Hello. Hi, Ruth. Sweethearts. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Me too. Thank you for having me. This is such a gorgeous home. It's a it's a wonderful apartment that I love. Um, so I'm here today with you to learn how to cook this delicious dish that your mother used to make for you. Right. Right? Um, so can you tell me what it's called? It's called Kasha Varnishkis. Kasha Varnishkis. Good, right? good, yeah? good, yes. Okay. Ruth, can you tell me where you were born? I was born in Vienna. February 22nd, 1928. I was 10 years old when Hitler marched into Austria in March, of 12, March 12, 1938. Mm -hmm. And my brother was then six years old. And um, we were in Vienna until uh, 19, the end of 1938, December of 1938, um, when we won the first Kindertransport to we to Holland and the rest of the kids who were, who were on our train went to England. And I was in Holland, in The Hague, for six weeks in um, a, a converted school. Okay, so let's get to it. Are you hungry? Am I hungry right yeah. now? No, not no. really, but, but I can always eat. Okay, me too. I'm Good. hungry. Let's go. Good. Yeah? Okay. Okay. The war started September 1st, mm -hmm. and the Dutch people said, we kept the kids safe all this time, we're not going to let them go back to Vienna now. Mm -hmm. So everything stood still all over again. Go see what's doing with those onions. <laughs> they smell really good. Why do we use kosher salt instead I, of... Oh, that's the only salt I've ever used in my whole life. Yeah? What's the difference between this I don't know. It's a little coarser. <laughs> but it's but but that's what my mother used, and that's what I use. This has like a nutty smell to it. A what? A nutty. Yes, like yes, you're smell. absolutely right. You've got a good nose. <laughs> Let's get the schmaltz. Ooh, Ooh sushi. Mine. <laughs> What does your doctor say? Uh, who asks? About schmaltz. I don't ask. No? No. Yeah. But you know what? The doc I saw two doctors in the last three weeks. And they were both happy with me, so More schmaltz. What more can I what more can I ask? And you know, schmaltz it's just for the taste because it's mm -hmm. different. Yeah, well there's there's, there's, no, there's no sugar. No, no. No fiber, but 13 grams of fat in one right. tablespoon. Right, exactly, exactly. I just used three. Great. Oh, see that schmaltz there? Oh, that was so much fun. She's an amazing lady. Hi. How are we doing? Good. I was holding down the fort. We came to the United States uh, October 26th, 1939. In the meantime, we'd had a big storm on the, in the English Channel, and I thought I was going to die. So I wrote a letter to my parents saying goodbye. But I didn't need it, thank goodness, because I'm still here. There we are. I think we're done. Voila. So, what we'll do is eat it, right? Ready to eat. Thank you. So, bete avon, which in Hebrew means healthy appetite. Okay. This or is good my appetite. First time trying this. I hope it's good. You never know. Good. Great. <laughs> 